Welcome to Discoveries of the Webb Space Telescope. I'm Tony Darnell. This is an image of a vibrant region of space known as NGC 346, a star cluster nestled within the small Magellanic Cloud, one of the Milky Way's closest galactic neighbors. The James Webb Space Telescope team released this image on October 24, and it's a glimpse into the early universe. The conditions in this region of space are such that we can study it as if we are looking back in time. It is a place where stars are born, and planets may be taking shape. The image is a composite pieced together from multiple exposures using different filters that each capture a specific range of wavelengths. The colors are not what our eyes would see directly, but rather they represent different kinds of light. Red, orange, cyan, and blue, each telling its own story about the composition and temperature of this far-off place. At first glance, the image bursts with a myriad of stars, some appearing brighter and larger than others. But nestled within these brilliant points of light are the real wonders that Webb was designed to find protoplanetary disks. These are swirling clouds of gas and dust encircling young stars. They are like cosmic nurseries where the raw materials for planets are being gathered. Notably, ten small yellow circles are overlaid on the image. These circles indicate the positions of the ten stars that were specifically surveyed in this study, each one a potential solar system in the making. The cluster NGC 346 is a place of incredible importance because it has a lack of heavier elements compared to our own Milky Way. In the early universe, stars formed mostly from hydrogen and helium, with heavier elements coming later through supernovae explosions. Thus, it serves as a proxy for scientists to study what it was like in the early universe. This is significant because what JWST saw here challenges previous models of planet formation which predicted that planet-forming disks could not last very long around stars with very few heavier elements. And yet, JWST found planet-forming regions surrounding young stars where very few heavy elements exist. What's more, they appear to be still actively gathering material at an age of 20 to 30 million years after the stars began to shine. This is much longer than was predicted by existing models, which had estimated disk lifetimes at less than a million years. This image, taken with Webb's NearCam instrument, is a mosaic of data collected across several dates in June and October of 2022. The light captured by Webb has traveled 200,000 light years to reach us. These tiny circles represent stars with the potential to host planets. The implications of this single image could reshape our understanding of how planets form. For the first time, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided evidence that planet-forming disks can persist in environments with few heavy elements, providing more time for planets to grow and evolve. As you look at this image and ponder the immensity of the cosmos and the endless possibilities it holds, be reminded of our connection to the universe and the incredible journey of discovery we're all on. It invites us to keep asking questions and to keep looking up. Discoveries of JWST was produced by Deep Astronomy with support from the members of this YouTube channel. Consider becoming a member of one of the oldest astronomy channels on YouTube.